almost live from the Enchanted Trivia Room, it's the Theme Park Trivia Show! With Disco Yeti and the Mineral Kings! And here's your host, Ryan Ritchie! Well, Congaloosh Explorers, and welcome to the Theme Park Trivia Show. With me as always, we have Disco Yeti and the Mineral Kings. How about a hand for them? Yes. Well, you're joining us for a very special episode today. We're calling it not season two and not season one. It's kind of like when Horizons closed and they kept reopening it, but we don't need to get into all that. Anyhow, joining us today, we have David and Carson joining us on this grand and miraculous spaceship. David and Carson, welcome. Hello. Yeah. Excited to be here, guys. Let's get to know a little bit more about each of you. David, tell us a little something about yourself. Yeah, so um, I, I've worked uh, at the theme parks for over 10 years now. My background's in entertainment. Uh, and a few years ago, I, uh, I joined a program at UCF. They started a new master's program uh, that's basically themed experience design. Uh, and so that's an incredible program. That's how I met Carson. Uh, so we'll totally give them a, a shout out and, and give them a pitch as well. If anyone is interested in working in the theme park creative industry, uh, it's definitely an avenue to explore there. But yeah, that's how Carson and I met. Um, and we've become the best of friends since. And uh, now I work creatively in the industry as a show writer. Uh, and Carson works creatively as well. But I'll let him introduce himself. Excellent. Thank yeah. you very much. Carson, tell us a little about yourself. Uh, so what's up, everybody? I'm Carson. Like David mentioned, um, he and I are good friends. And we met through the themed experience MFA program at the University of Central Florida. Uh, where I'm now a two-time graduate of. Um, and David and I kind of connected to that program, hit it off to begin with, became super good friends. We have similar, you know, backgrounds in performing at the parks and working at the parks. And I've just become kind of really, really good friends since. Uh, he was just in my wedding last month. Uh, oh, yeah. He's one of my groomsmen. <laughs> awesome. Very nice. And uh, yeah, awesome. now I'm working uh, creatively in the industry as well. You didn't have any characters at your wedding, did you? We had some characters, but not, not of the uh, Disney variety. I was I was really disappointed when Mickey didn't show up at the uh, rehearsal dinner, but apparently that was an option that they didn't spring for. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for being here. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start our game just like we would a day at the parks. That, of course, means a rope drop. So here is our rope drop question. This will determine who has control of the board. And uh, I'm getting the Horizons question out of the way early for the longtime watchers. You know, we have oh, a Horizons question in each episode. So here it is. How much, no Googling, how much did Horizons cost to build? The closest guess gets control of the board. Uh, David will take your guess first. Doesn't matter if you go over. No, oh, crap. That means Carson just has to decide higher or lower than my answer. Um, I'm going to put it at 2.48 million dollars. 2.48 <laughs> very very specific. Carson, what do you think was the cost of Horizon? Are you kidding? 2. Are you laughing cuz that's too expensive? Dollars? No, that is nothing. Okay, so Horizons infamously went over budget. I think it was somewhere in the 150 million range. I'm gonna say 150. 150, is that your, uh, is that your answer, Carson? That's my answer. Well, despite David's uh, incredibly bargain basement price, I believe he is actually closer as it was 60 million, <laughs> six zero, 60 million. Woo! Uh, however, that I will say- will get you. I will say, Carson, it's 189 million to, in today's dollars when you adjust for inflation. Oh. So- That was thinking. <laughs> you, you won that. You may have lost the battle, but you won the war, won the battle loss. So let's get started. Uh, let's take a look at our categories today, David, for you to choose from. We have Dialogue Alley, oh, Splash Mountain, Defunct World, because Defunct Land was already taken. Mm -hmm. It all started with a map, 1989, and Hotspot, or I think not. Which, where are we going first, David? 
Uh, I need any advantage I can get on Carson. So I'm going with 1989 because I was alive and he was not. <laughs> 1989. Okay. Only by one, only one year, but. Uh... <laughs> you obviously didn't pay for a lot of attractions being built in the 80s, though, we learned. No, sure uh, didn't. 2.4. Okay. Uh, these are all things that happened in 1989. All things that happened in 1989. David. In 1989, Star Tours opened where first? Oh. 1989. I mean, I thought that's when Hollywood or when MGM Studios opened. I mean, it opened at Disneyland first, but I thought that was earlier than. I than need that. an answer. I mean, I mean it opened at Disneyland first. There's the answer. Uh, that is incorrect. Carson, can you steal? Why did Star Tours open in 1989? Somewhere it opened in 1989. And it wasn't at GM. First, mute his mic. I've had enough of David. He's he is having he, make him into sunny eclipse. Take him down to the Utilidor. I'm done. There he goes. There he goes. Uh, Carson, do you have a guess for us? Disney's MVM Studios in 1989, right? Oh, uh, you guys are going to kick yourselves. We were looking for Tokyo Disneyland. It opened in oh, Tokyo wow. and then opened wow. in MGM. These are not going to be easy. Okay. Okay. Tokyo. All right, David, you retain control. 1989 was the opening of what bird themed resort at Walt Disney World? Bird themed resort. It is. It is throw. I will be. I will say that's not entirely fair. <laughs> oh. Bird. Is this something to? Is this something to do with like? Themed resort. Pleasure Island or something? Yeah. Because there there was a bird on the sign, it. right? You got it. Sounds like Carson's going to be able to steal this, David. I'm going to have to ask for an answer. Pleasure Island, I'll say. Pleasure yeah. Island. That's not a resort. Is incorrect, Carson. It is the Walt Disney World Swan Hotel. That is correct. Oh. The Swan. Ten points you know, to Carson. the bird one. He is on the board with the Swan. All right. So, Carson, starting in 1989, where could you celebrate New Year's Eve every night? At uh, Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. He's on a roll now. And lastly, in our 1989 category, what? 1989 attraction had guests going through a dermatopic purification before boarding the ride vehicle. That is Body Wars. Body Wars <laughs> is correct. Carson is out to a 30 point lead, 30 to nothing. All right, Carson, where are we headed next? We have Dialogue Alley, Splash Mountain, Defunct World. It all started with a map or hotspot or I think not. Uh, so I had texted David earlier and said that Dialogue, Dialogue Alley is a lock for both of us. So let's see if that assessment is we'll true see. and go to Dialogue Alley. We'll see. Dialogue Alley. Okay. <laughs> These could be current or former attractions. I will tell you, uh, everything today comes from Universal. All right. Here's our first one, Carson. Time, the ever flowing river. Come with us now to a time before man, when the river flowed through a newborn world and giants walked the earth. That is from the Jurassic Park River Adventure. That is correct. All right. That means you have 40 points. Just letting our scorekeepers know. And they're updating it now. All right, Carson, here's what's next. Don't leave now. Things are just starting to heat up. Ha 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 ha. That is from The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. That is correct. A uh, prop, tiebreaker. Oh, they both have props, so that will not be a tiebreaker later. Okay, question three, Dialogue Alley. Carl, I can't do the voice. Carl, that's an advanced piece of high-tech quality home-crafted rocketry, not a toy. This is a tough one. That is from Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast. Unbelievable. 
which by the way, closed <laughs> in 2000. This is a plusing question. Would you like to try to answer this question, Carson, for another 10 points? If you get it wrong, you will lose the 10 points you just received. I'm not gonna Check go. Carson, you might lose some no. of that big lead. Are you going for it? Okay, you know what, yeah, I will, I will do it, I'll do it. Uh, okay, what year did Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast close? 2009. 2009 is incorrect. 2011. 2011. So we have to take those 10 <laughs> points away. But that's all right. Plenty of game left. Uh, you also lose control of the board. So we go to David. <gasps> David? So you're saying there's a chance. There is definitely a chance. The trained specialists in this control room will be your eye in the sky. Correct. For the record, I've known every single one since the one I got wrong. Um, train specialist, eye in the sky. Current or former attractions used. Universal. The only thing I can think of with like a helicopter or an eye in the sky was like confrontation. Ooh, is that I don't your think answer? that's it. So I'm going with confrontation. That is incorrect. Carson, can you steal? I'm going to go with Terminator 2 3D. That is a good guess. Also incorrect. Ripped from the headlines. Get through those metal detectors, gentlemen, because that is from the pre-show for Velocicoaster. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the control room. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, that does it for Dialogue Alley. David, we're going to let you retain control. Where are we headed next? We have Splash Mountain. Defunct world, it all started with a map or hot spot, or I think not. Uh, let's look at uh, Defunct World. All right, Defunct World, because Defunct Land was already taken. These are questions about attractions that no longer exist. Okay. Okay, David, what 1957 Disneyland attraction cruised along for 35 years until 1993? That's a tough way to start. That's a tough one to start this category. Cruised along. Oh man. Storyland Boats is still there. Storyland Boats is still there. Um, is it? Okay, there's two, two, I'm thinking two things. I'm thinking they're people mover cruises, but I don't know if they're people movers still there. I don't think it is. And then the other thing I'm thinking is their 20,000 leagues under the sea could be also cruising. But I don't know if it was that late that mm. it went away. I'm going to go with 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and go with the, the cruise being a water vessel. Carson? That is incorrect. Carson? I believe it to be the, the motorboat cruise. This guy. That is correct. The wow. motorboat cruise. Wow. The motorboat cruise is correct. And you've stumbled along the uh, across the other plus in question today already so do you want to go again okay. it's another question about the motorboat cruise uh you could earn another 10 points or you'll lose the 10 you already have let's go again let's go for it okay in 1991 the motorboat cruise was themed to promote what animated show the gummy bears i knew it would be this too <laughs> the gummy bears is correct yeah. Oh my goodness. Slow down for Carson. Can he be stopped? I don't know, but we're going to let no. David answer this no. one. David. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> what were the three modes of transportation to return from the future at the end of Horizons? Uh, it was space, you got you land, got or water, right? Is that too space, general? Space, land, or water. Give me. Tell me a little more about the land. What kind of land was it? It was what kind of land? It was like farmland. Was it dry land? Was it very brown? Yeah. Would you go so far it as to call desert. it? It was a desert. Desert is, is correct. 
space, <laughs> desert, and sea. Uh, we're going to give you credit I for that. I will have you know that I watched, I watched a video played through of Horizons because I know there's always a Horizons-related question. <laughs> and, I, and yeah, and that's why I knew the answer was desert and <laughs> sea and space. Awesome. All right. Uh, here's a good one. What ride closed in 1998 at Walt Disney World that featured two different tracks with different scenes? 1998. Boy, that's unspecific. Walt Disney World closed two different tracks, some different scenes on each track. I believe. I believe in you. You'll get to it. Oh, oh, was it? Is it? Uh, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, in my head, I was like, everyone was upset when the great movie ride closed, but that was way, that was way later than 98. Mm -hmm. I know when that closed. Um, Could be a ride, though ride sounds like it might be part well, of well i'm thinking there's more than one track on a ride uh, i'm just zooming through the parks real quick that's what i'm doing in my head oh man no he's out mm. carson i'm out i'm out that would be it, it expanded due to the uh, popularity of the Disneyland version to two tracks, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. My goodness, that is correct, Mr. Toad. Okay. Uh, Oof. And uh, an easy one here to, to round it out. Carson, you are in control. The Discovery River Boats were part of what park's opening day attractions? That is Disney's Animal Kingdom. That is correct. That is correct. They only ran from April of 98 to August of 99. So with that, David, we're going to let you pick our next category. Where are we headed? Hot spot, or I think not, Splash Mountain, or it all started with a map. Ooh, let's, uh, let's do hot spots. Okay. So this is our rapid fire category. Uh, what's going to happen here is each one of you is going to answer... I'm going to give you a list of eight dance club names. And these are clubs that may or may not have been at Pleasure Island. If they are real, you'll say Hot Spot. If they are fake, you'll say I think not. Hot Spot or I think not. Each of you will answer eight. Whoever gets the most right will get all 40 points in this category. Everybody's ready? Rapid fire. David, you're up first. Here we go. Hot Spot. Or I think not. Comedy Warehouse. Hotspot. Correct. Seafarers Hall. I think not. That is correct. <laughs> Lifetime's Dance Club for Women. Oh, God. I hope not. <laughs> that is correct. BET Soundstage. <laughs> yes, Hotspot. Correct. The Gator Lounge. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I think not. That is correct. Neon Armadillo. Yes, hot spot. Hot spot. XZFR Rock and Roller Drone. Uh, mm, there was a roller coaster, or uh, a roller skating one. Uh, let's go. Let's say hot spot. That is correct. And lastly, Adventurers Club. Uh, yes, Hotspot. That is correct. Uh, all eight, is that correct? Yes. Okay, David, you got all eight correct. The pressure is on Carson. Let's see if he can get all eight of his correct, and then I don't know what happens. <laughs> okay, Carson, are you ready? Let's make it hard on you. <laughs> <laughs> the Joke Emporium. I think not. Correct. CDs. I think not. Correct. Eight tracks. Hot spot. Yes. Videopolis East. Hot spot. Yes. Mickey's. I think not. That is correct. Macarenaville. <laughs> I think not. 
Uh, correct. Rock and Roll Beach Club. Hot spot. Yes, and Mannequin's, da uh, Mannequin's Dance Palace. Hot spot. <laughs> that is correct. An 8-8 eight, eight tie. I don't know what happens. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? David, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Mm -hmm. Seven. Well, let, we, you know, we should let Genie Plus plan out who should get the points, actually, <laughs> is what we should do. Um, It'll say, sorry, points are not available today. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you can you can lightning lane to the points. You know, no, I, I like the Can clip. I pay Let's you $15 the, for the points? <laughs> Let's give the points to David. I enjoy the, the comedy he brought there. All right, so taking a look at our I need scores, something to bargain with at the end of the game. That's right. We have David with 50 points, Carson with 90 points. Carson, you do get to pick our next category. We're down to only Splash Mountain, and it all started with a map. Where are we headed? Let's go to it all started with a map. Ah, some we seem to be avoiding one for some reason. Okay. <laughs> We've watched this show. <laughs> hmm, I wonder. <laughs> it all started. It all started with a map. Let's see if you can identify these attractions uh, from horribly zoomed in photos of the printed maps. Are we ready? Ready. And I will tell you, well, let's let's just get started and see how we do. Uh, let's take a look at our first one. What attraction is that? What is that? It looks like it's on some sort of street, Carson. Some sort of, some sort of uh, area. I I can't go any further. I've I've said too much. I think I think I know what it is. I'm gonna guess the theater in the wild at Disney's Animal Kingdom. <laughs> That is incorrect. We go to David. David, you had an idea. You might uh, you might be able to pull I, this out. I did have an idea, and then the more I thought about it, the less my idea made sense. I know it's oh, Disney. Oh, hold from on, the, hold the on, hold on, everyone. Here comes some pixie dust and an extra clue to help. This is exciting. <gasps> For me? For you. This attraction is, was, and still is in uh, Hollywood Studios. I see, uh, okay. All right, I think, so I, I think I see like a Pixar ball up there in the top right corner. Um, that makes me think, uh, is this uh, is this Toy Story Mania? Midway Mania is correct. That is correct. All right, David, 60 points. Let's take a look at number two. What are we looking at here? What is that? Oh, is that a is that Catastrophe Canyon, on the on the backlot tour? Catastrophe Canyon is correct. In Hollywood Studios. All right, nice. David. Very nice. Let's move on to number three. Number three. Oh, that is that's Rock and Roller Coaster. Rock and Roller Coaster. In Hollywood Studios. This is for all the ones I knew when it was your turn, Carson. This is how it feels. Now that is an, another yeah. 10 points for David. Uh, here we go with number four. It all started with a map. What do we got? Um, oh man, a beach. Is this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a while guys. Is this like something on Castaway K or something like that? Castaway Key? This game is far too close. I cannot give any additional clues. I'm sorry. I, I mean, that that was my answer was Castaway Key. So Castaway, Castaway Key, key. So no. no Carson, you got a guess for us? No, dude. It's Hollywood Studios, all of them. That's Indiana Jones, Epic Spectacular. Oh, that's, the, that's the lake <laughs> right there. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's off the map. That's just the border. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let's see. Carson, you have 100 points. David, you have about 70. Uh, Late surge. It looks like we only have one category left. Where are we going, Carson? I'd rather not. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going. I want to go. Splash Mountain. 
Splash Mountain, <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you that, uh, no, none of us are touching it. So that is the end of the main questions. <laughs> All right, so taking a look at the scores, Carson has 100 points. David has 80 points, but anything could happen, folks, because it's time for the key to the kingdom question. Today's category is parades. So think about how many points, get your pen and paper, Think about how many points you want to wager in the category of parades. Write that down. Carson's favorite thing. Disco Yeti? Parades? Yeah? You like parades? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Here we go. Here's your key to the kingdom question. What was the name of the first parade at Epcot. What was the name of the first parade at Epcot? And while you both think about that, I just want to remind everyone, if you're enjoying the show, please, you know, like, subscribe, do all that. And we now have the merch store, so you can get your very own Theme Park Trivia Show t-shirt. So look forward to that soon. They're both writing their answers down. And it looks like Carson is done. David, you both have your answers locked in? Yes. Okay. Uh, David, you had 80 points. Apparently, if we just wait, they keep going up. Uh, what is your answer, please, David? Let's see. The Parade of Nations. Parade. Parade of Nations. That is, that is close. How many points did you wager? Eight. No. Eight <laughs> points. Did Eighty. Them. Okay, Ooh. David went for it all. 80. Carson, <laughs> the, the name of the first parade at Epcot. Mela. Oela. Ela. A tapestry of nations. That does sound familiar. Nations. A tapestry of nations. And uh, how many did you wager just for fun? Let's see. 100! That means Carson there. is our winner today! Congratulations! Um, Carson, how does it feel? What goes through your mind at a time like this? It feels good. So the minute you said parades, infamously, I wrote my master's thesis at the UCF MFA program on parade design. So, yeah. Very nice. It was an easy, that one in there? An easy that in your thesis? That's in there. They're all in there. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Carson, congratulations once again. My thanks to Disco Yeti and the Mineral Kings. And of course, thank you for watching. And until next time, remember, now is the time. Now is the best time. So long, everyone. Let's come over here. I talk to you. Thanks for watching the show. Please like this video and subscribe so we can keep making it. See you next time.